Hi, my name is Arnold Custodio, and welcome to another InMotion Hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Softaculous to install WordPress. Using Softaculous to install WordPress is advantageous because it is quick, much easier, and gives you a few additional options that you wouldn't have if you installed WordPress manually. These options include the ability to clone the site, make backups, and update from a single location. If you are making multiple installations on WordPress, Softaculous helps you to track the different installations that you create. First, log into the cPanel for your account. Scroll down to the icon labeled Softaculous. If you don't see the Softaculous icon, you may see a section in the cPanel labeled Softaculous Apps Installer. You can install the application by clicking on the icon that says WordPress, or you can click on the Note option at the top of the window, which will bring you into the Softaculous app. When you're inside Softaculous, you'll see WordPress as an option on the front page. Go ahead and click on the icon, and then click on Install. When you click on the Install icon, you'll see the summary page for the WordPress installation that's given by Softaculous. You'll see the WordPress version number, as well as Install, Overview, Features, and Import. As we're just doing an install, make sure you're on the Install tab for the WordPress installation. Here you will need to fill in the fields that you see on the screen. You can choose protocol, either HTTP or HTTPS. Next, you'll see the option for choosing a domain. The domains that are available in the Choose Domain section are required to be associated with your account, either through a subdomain, an add-on domain, or as the primary domain. In the section called In Directory, if you leave it blank, you'll basically be installing into the public underscore HTML folder. This is the default installation folder for the primary domain on all accounts within InMotion. If you want to install the files into a different folder, you can type in the name of the folder and then all the files for your WordPress installation will be placed in that folder. Note that the folder should not already exist or the Softaculous installation will fail and give you an error. Next is the database name. You can type in the name of a database that you want to use, or you can use the default name that's been given. Under the database settings, you'll see table prefix. The table prefix by default is WP underscore. This starts each of the table names that are within the database. If you want to make your own prefix, you can just delete the one that's there and then type in your own. Under site settings, you'll see site name, and this is the name that you'll give your blog within WordPress. Site description is also a short description of your site, and both of these settings can be changed within the WordPress administrator backend. The last option within site settings is called Enable Multi-Site. This feature allows you to install multiple versions of WordPress blogs under one database with this particular installation. If you want to enable multi-site, you would click on the checkbox. Under Admin Account, you'll see the administrator name, password, and email. When you're creating a username for your administrator, make sure that you're not using a common name, and also make sure that your password is strong to keep your account secure. Make sure that you have access to the administrator email so that you can recover your password if you lose it. You can use the lost password option that appears when you try to log in to the administrator backend. Under Choose Language, you'll see that the default language is English. You'll need to click on the drop down arrow to choose a different language. And then there's a section called Select Plugins. There's one plugin here which you can enable called Limit Login Attempts. This allows you to secure your site by limiting the number of login attempts that anyone can use to get into your WordPress administrator backend. This is not a necessary plugin, but it does help to keep your site more secure. Finally, at the bottom, you'll see that there's advanced options, an install button, and an email installation details too. 
If you want to install at this point without clicking on the advanced options, you can do so. But make sure that you fill in the email installations details with your email address. This allows you to get a copy of the installation details that you have selected on this form. Once you've typed in your email address, click on install to complete the installation. Click on the plus sign in order to see the advanced options. Here you'll see disable update notifications, auto upgrade WordPress plugins, and auto upgrade WordPress themes. The options for upgrading your WordPress installation are also already a part of the WordPress administrator backend. Checking the upgrade options here within advanced options lets Softaculous decide when you should upgrade. If you check the upgrade options that are available under advanced options, the installation will be automatically upgraded to the latest version when a new version is available. Typically these options are not selected and the decision for upgrades is left to the administrator backend. When you click on install you'll see a progress bar that gives you an update and typically the installation will take three to four minutes or less. We often see it be much quicker. When the installation has completed you'll see a message that says congratulations the software was installed successfully. Then underneath that message you'll see the URLs that were used for your installation. You'll see the URL for the front end, and you'll see the URL for accessing your WordPress administrator. Thanks again for watching this InMotion hosting video tutorial. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave a comment below and let us know what kind of videos you'd like to see from us in the future. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? There's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.